Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome into the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. I'm Mark Elliott. Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years experience in the financial industry. Glad you're with us today. The team is here to help guide you, help you strategize when it comes to your retirement. Do I have enough? Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Will my money run out before my life runs out? Uh, really, are we going to be okay if we retire? That's what we want to know. Rick and the team at Safeguard are here to help guide you in that area. 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. No cost, no obligation, no pressure. I think it's one of the more important calls you can make because you're going to get some clarity into your retirement picture. And there's no cost. Why not take advantage of this opportunity? Maybe you'll work with Safeguard. Maybe you won't. But at least having this conversation with them will give you a better understanding of where you are. 800 700 1980. Rick, here we go. 2024 is underway. Uh, and every year they change some of the tax codes. They change some catch up contributions if you're over the age of 50. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts. Social Security, 3.2% cost of living adjustment for this year, about 60 bucks a month. I mean, everything changes every year. And that's obviously your job to make sure your clients understand what's happening and if anything affects them, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We try to stay up on it, you know every year and keep up. We have a CPA that we work with that, you know, uh, informs us and um, that we work with directly just to stay up on all this stuff. So let's talk about the catch-up contributions. I'm not sure everybody really understands catch-up contributions, but 401k, 403b, 457s, thrift savings plans. I mean, those kind of things. Once you get over the age of 50, you can put in more than those that are under the age of 50. Can you explain that a little bit? So basically what they did is it used to be 22,500 last year. And now it is uh, 23000 this year. Once you're 50 or over, um, the IRS does allow you to do a catch-up provision, which basically allows you to increase that amount to 30500 And if you're contributing to an IRA, your um, catch-up provision is 8000 So normally, you can, if you're under 50, you can do 7000 into an IRA per year. And if you're over 50, you can uh, do an extra 1000 8000 so, so bottom line, um, one of the things that I run into with many people that if, what they do is they have like a fixed amount taken out of their paycheck each year. So as each year, since they do give us a little bit more each year that we can contribute, a lot of times people don't adjust those amounts. So I think it's important that you review it each and every year to make sure that you're taking advantage of the maximum that you can. And then also at the very least, you know, some people are like, well, you know what, listen, you know, I got a family, I'm raising a family, I got a lot of stuff going on. I can't afford to, you know, contribute the 23000 or whatever the maximum is. But what you'd want to at least do is your, if your company's matching you dollars, you'd want to at least try to at least put enough in to get as much free money out of, out of your employer as you can. So at least do, a, you know, something's always better than nothing, but especially if your employer is uh, matching you, you want to take advantage of that free money. Even if you put in a little bit, again, something's better than nothing. Yeah. So these, these numbers change every single year, basically. And basically they kind of go up by about 500 to a thousand in all these categories. Uh, So there's an opportunity there to put some money away. And maybe you're not real clear on that. Do remember the fact that with your 401k, typically at the age of 59 and a half, you can do what's called an in-service rollover or in-service distribution. You're not distributing it to yourself. You're moving it from one custodian to another, but you're still going to work for another five years. For example, you're going to keep putting money into that 401k, taking advantage of the match. But now Rick and the team at Safeguard can move that money into an IRA and make it a little bit more directed to what you and your family need. So there's a lot of opportunities here. 800-700-1980 if you'd like to learn more about that. I didn't even know I could do that. I'm still going to work till I'm 65, but I would like to you know, take more control over my own 401k and then keep contributing to it because I'm still working. But now you have a little bit more control. You can always talk to Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group about that. 800-700-1980. We know Social Security did not, for 2024, get that 8.7% cost of living that they got last year. Uh, 3.2% of what, about 60 bucks? What's that, uh, two coffees in Corona, California? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'll get you, you know, a couple of trips to Starbucks, and that's about it, unfortunately. 
yeah, they, they adjusted the, uh, the cola a little bit. And, um, I know also they increased the maximum amount, uh, one could receive once they become full retirement age. I believe last year was around $3,600. I think it was 3627 to be exact. Uh, now this year they raise it to 3822. So there's some, you know, uh, changes there. Um, I don't know if that there's anything that is uh, life changing uh, that, that has occurred as far as the changes are concerned with Social Security. But I do want to cover something real quick that is a very common question when it comes to people that we see that are going to collect Social Security, especially when it comes to a spouse. Because I've run into scenarios where I have a spouse that maybe didn't uh, put in a lot of quarters. Maybe they, they qualify for Social Security. And a, a common question that I get is, hey, Rick, do you think I should go back to work you know, so I, c- so I can increase my, the amount that I'm going to receive each and every month? And here's the thing that you have to take into consideration is if you, let's say you're an at-home uh, spouse and the one that was working, let's just say they, they're, they're entitled to $3,000 a month and you're entitled to $800 a month. Well, if you're like 59 or 60 or 61 and you're thinking, hey, listen, I'm going to go to work and, 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 and work three, four more years, and it's going to make a dramatic increase in the amount of uh, benefit I'm going to receive in Social Security, you're not going to get that much benefit. You're much better off going on spousal because you have to remember if your husband or your spouse, whoever the working spouse was, getting 3000 if you claim a spousal benefit, you'll at least get half of what the 3000 is. So you get about 1500 Your spouse will still get three, but you'll get 1500 So the thing that you have to ask yourself is, hey, does it really make sense for me to go to work to try to get that 800 beyond 1500 If not, the numbers don't work out. But if you ever have questions like that regarding, hey, where's the sweet spot for us to claim Social Security and, and you want to fine tune those numbers for yourself, give us a call. You know, we can help you with those um, questions, but make sure we answer them specifically for you in your particular situation. Because one of the keys, Rick and the team at, at Safeguard, look at your Social Security as not just Social Security. We all know if we wait till 70, we get the most. We take it at 62, we get the least. But there is a sweet spot somewhere between 62 and 70. Maybe it makes sense to take it at 62, maybe at 70, but it's really about your specific situation. Where does it and how does it make the most sense for you? And that's what Rick and the team <clears throat> look at. They don't look at Social Security in a vacuum. 800-700-1980. No cost for this. 800-700-1980. When you think about it, if you take Social Security for 20, 30 years, you're talking for a couple, you're talking a million dollar decision. So you really need to get it right. And there are a lot of avenues that Rick and the team, because they work in this retirement world all the time, there are things that they know that you probably don't know. So go in and get some good advice. 800-700-1980. The last thing I wanted to talk about before we get into our next segment, Rick, is the IRS has announced an increase in the interest penalty on the underpayment of estimated taxes. Now, to me, it says the estimated taxes. That means I'm guessing why are you going to penalize me if I didn't give you enough? I'm just going to have to pay the difference, I would think, at the end of the year. But they've now raised that penalty from 3% to 8%. That doesn't seem fair. Yeah, no, not at all. You know, it's one of those things where this is a common you know, penalty that they had that if you're not paying in enough on your quarterlies, obviously um, they'll penalize you going forward. And they increased it from 3 to 8%. And, you know, honestly, Mark, it, a lot of the clients that we deal with, we don't see them running into uh, that issue at all. Uh, the only reason why I'm saying that is because when you're retired, you know, most of the time, you know, you have a fixed income, you know exactly where your income's coming from, it's Social Security, your pensions, uh, a certain amount from the investments. So the only way this might really come into play is if there's some sort of anomaly. You know, you took a big chunk out of your IRA, but if you do that, we know that you took this big chunk, we know what the tax consequence is. And because they're working with you know somebody like this, we can actually run a mock tax return for them and let them know, hey, listen, here's what you might want to uh, uh, realize you're going to have to pay in taxes by pulling X amount of dollars. So if there's anomaly, or maybe they sold a property, you know, and they have huge capital gains. So if there's anomalies like this, this is where we can actually help them and say, hey, just so you're not hit with any surprises, here's what you can expect and here's what you should be paying in. So, so I think that's really more where, where it comes into play 
with our uh, particular clientele. But if you were but working with somebody that that maybe decided to roll their 401k to you and, and let you handle it for an IRA to give them more options, and they were going to work for five more years, and they were self-employed, and they didn't have a W-2 because they weren't taking the taxes out as they went, and th- that would be, I guess it would be a factor in that situation. Yeah, you know what, I was just going to say that. Yeah, so where the other scenario would be is like, you know, maybe you're an independent contractor, you know, and you're paying yourself a salary out of the business. So there's where um, sometimes people do get into trouble. So that is where it's very important. And this is what we do with our clients that have businesses that are contractors, uh, they're 1099 employees, or, you know, maybe they're paying themselves a salary. What we do is like when it comes down to like October, November, when it gets towards the end of the year, we do our pre-tax planning. So we'll take a look at the income that they made throughout that year. So that way, if we have to make some adjustments, um, so that way there's no surprises, we can, and then they're not getting hit with penalties going into the following year. Yeah, and that'd be a great opportunity for you to sit down with Rick and the team at Safeguard, especially if you are one of those that have your own business and maybe you don't do the old W-2 and all that, and you've kind of been guessing. Well, that IRS penalty going from 3% to 8% now in underpayments that we, we all get tired of taxes, but you don't want, and we want to pay our taxes. We just don't want to overpay. In this situation, they're going to find you for being light. Uh, that's where you need some guidance, I think. And if you have questions about any of that or all that we've talked about in this segment, it's 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980. We're going to talk about what is 2024 going to bring us? Is it the world greatest recession ever? Is it going to be bumpy? Is it going to be fine? It's a presidential election year. We know those aren't exactly fun. Uh, So there's a lot going on in 2024. Rick's going to give us his thoughts on that when we come back right here on the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Stay with us back right after this. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now, back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera, a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. You can always learn more on the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. Questions, 800-700-1980. Boy, I'd like to retire this year. I wonder if I can retire this year. Is it going to be a crazy year? Is it going to be a smooth year? I don't really know. And that's what we're going to talk about in this segment. 800-700-1980, though, if you have questions about your particular situation. Uh, Rick, you think about 2024. And we're going to talk about being an election year. That's always a kind of a crazy time. People get nervous and all that. But how do you see 2024? I mean, I've seen some of the, you know, the doomsayers. Hey, it's going to be the worst recession we've ever seen. I, that might be a going overboard. And then right. maybe it'll be up and down. Well, that's what it always does, the markets do. What do you kind of foresee as you look at your crystal ball for 2024? Well, here's the thing. I, you know, I'll kind of give you kind of a little bit of my gut. And then also what we're hearing from you know, some of the institutional money managers that we talk to and and some of these guys that we talk to, I mean, they're managing Apple's money, Google's money. I mean, these are big players, you know, that, that we talk to in the industry. They're the ones that actually probably control the market. They, they, they manage so much money. But the way we're seeing things for 2024 is, fortunately, you know, the, the Feds have um, slowed down dramatically on raising interest rates. And some of the thoughts are is that maybe later on in the year, they may even reduce interest rates possibly. Uh, so, you know, that's what's been having a, a positive spin on the market so far. But let's face it, anytime we go into um, elections, you, we're going to have some volatility. I, I, I don't doubt that one bit. I don't think it'll be dramatic volatility, but I do think we will have um, volatility uh, just based upon, you know, which way the polls are going and and, uh, you know, you get a lot of these experts on TV trying to predict one way or the other. But at the end of the day, I think that with the current administration, the market kind of uh, is dealing with the known quantity there. So they, you know, they, they, I think they know how to play those cards. And um, if we get a new administration in, just depending on what the plan is with the new administration, let's just say, for example, the new, new administration is like, oh, yeah, you know, we want to reduce taxes or we want to do this or we want to do that then that could also have a positive uh, play on the market. So there's a lot of variables there that can make it swing one way or the other. But to make a long story short, uh, in a short period of time, I don't think it's going to be dramatic. 
some, but not dramatic. Right. So you're saying that the markets will do what they always do. They're going to go up. They're going to go down. They're going to go flat. <laughs> they're just going to be yeah, all over them. Yeah, so yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you think about an election year, uh, because I know we all love the commercials and the bantering back and forth. No, we don't at all. But if you think back, 2016, Trump beats Hillary and the market's going to crash. Well, it didn't happen. People got really scared on one side. Then the next time Biden beats Trump, well, the market, you know, all the, the Trump followers are like, well, we're going to pull all the money out of the market. Well, that didn't happen either. So we do right. tend to overreact, I think, with this type of stuff. Washington and Wall Street do have a lot to say about our retirement. But they aren't. We don't want them to control our retirement. That's where you come in to help guide us. So an election year does that that make it even a little bit more confusing? Not for us. I mean, yeah, that's my point. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Not for us. I mean, because you know, we, we. I mean, this is obviously not our first rodeo, and 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 we we always plan for the worst case scenario. So if it occurs, we know our clients are going to be fine. So anything that does occur, I mean, we've already planned for it. So no. Do you think that's a part of, you know, the planning process at Safeguard that, you know, when you sit down with people is, okay, when you were in your 30s, 40s, maybe even a little bit in your 50s, I mean, all your money was sitting in that 401k or IRA. But when you get closer to retirement, it's not 100% of your money's in the market anymore. So if the markets do do crazy stuff and drop 40 or 50%, it's not all of your money because it's not all sitting in the market, right? Correct. It's how things are allocated for you and making sure that you know, we have the money divided up in such a way where each bucket of money, we'll call it, uh, for lack of better terminology, um, is has a specific purpose. So you're going to have some money that's designed specifically to give you your income. You're going to have some money that's designed for emergencies and liquidity. And you're going to have some money that's, you know, set up for, um, you know, keeping up with inflation, getting a fair rate of return. So it's really, it's, it's really not just, oh, how am I going to, you know, what's the best stock to pick during this time? You know, oh, next quarter, you know, it, it's really not day trading. What it is, it's designing a plan, having a strategy that has worked since the beginning of time, you know, and not deviating from it. That's the big thing, sticking to fundamentals and not, again, trying to be a day trader and worry about who's the next, you know, president going to be or, you know, where interest rates are going and all the rest of it. Obviously, we want to be mindful of it so, so we can leverage those things in our favor, but we're not dependent on those things. So you think about it. Every year, we, you know, it's the old resolution time. Oh, it's January. I better get my resolutions for this year. And then by February, 80% of us have stopped our resolutions. Well, right. one of the great things you can do when you start a new calendar year, January, February, March, it's never too late and it's certainly never too early to actually learn more about retirement. You can text the word event, E-V-E-N-T, event, to 951 667 4969 and see what upcoming events Safeguard Investment Advisory Group is putting on that maybe you want to attend. Typically, there's no cost. It's an opportunity for you to learn. Sometimes it's just for clients, but sometimes it's for the general public as well. So if you'd like to learn more about what Rick and the team have coming up in 2024, just text the word event so you can find out. Just text the word event to 951 667 4969. That's 951 651-4969. 667-4969. You can find out what's coming up with Safeguard that maybe, hey, I'm on the kind of getting to that point where I need to learn a little bit more about this retirement game. You know, my grandparents yeah. retired and they had pensions, Rick. Their income was not a problem for us. Income becomes a little bit more of a problem because most of us don't have pensions. Yeah. You know, if, if somebody, you know, listening to the show right now wants to give us a call and wants to meet with me directly or even do a Zoom meeting or, or phone call. Well, they have to pay extra for that, don't they? To sit down with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, like I said, you know, give me 45 minutes of your time and I can guarantee you within 45 minutes, an hour max, you know, I can give you two ideas that are going to enhance whatever it is that you're doing and it won't cost you a penny. Because here's the thing, a lot of people out there that are listening to the show right now, yes, they've been doing well, you know, maybe they're contributing to their 401ks, IRAs and all this, but it's done in a vacuum. It's just like, okay, 10% uh, is coming out. And then when it comes to retirement, you know, you have goals, you have, you know, objectives that you want to achieve in retirement. Well, what we do rather than it, it being done in a vacuum. And then when it comes to retirement age, you find out, oh my God, you know what? I actually, I thought I was saving up, but I didn't. Or, you know, so what we do is we actually can create a plan for you and let you know, hey, you know what? You're on track. Or if you're a little behind, or here's what you can do to enhance what you're currently doing regarding your planning. So if you want something that's, spe you know, that's specific for your situation and you want something that um, will allow you not to get caught behind the eight ball and you don't want to do things in a vacuum, 
give us a call and take advantage of that hour consultation. And it would be with me personally. Ask for me directly, and I'll be happy to do that for you, at least to give you some tidbits that could potentially enhance whatever it is you, that you're doing. So how about that? A guarantee on a financial show. And that is yeah. not that you're going to be perfect in retirement and things will always go perfectly for you and your family. It's two ideas that will enhance whatever it is you're currently doing. And just ask for Rick Rivera, Safeguard Investment Advisor Group. The number is 800-700-1980. No cost to you. Uh, no obligation. No pressure either. 800-700-1980. I think that's worth 45 minutes to an hour of your time getting a couple ideas that will enhance whatever it is you're currently doing. 800 800- 700 1980. All right, final minute of the show today. What's what's on Rick Rivera's to-do list in 2024? Anything that you you and maybe your wife Sean have thought, thought boy, we got to do this this year. Anything on your to-do list? You know what? Nothing exciting. You're not basically. scuba diving anywhere exciting? No, 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 not scuba diving, not nothing. The only the only plan that we got is uh maybe we're taking a trip to Italy this year. Outside of that, I'm just going to be working. She's going to be doing her thing and um you know, back to the grind zone. I had I had plenty of time off uh, during uh, December, so now I'm looking forward to getting back to work and and uh, doing what I do and doing what I love. There you go, and that's helping people just like you figure out where they are on that road to retirement. Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Do I have enough? Will my money last as long as I need it to? Will my loved ones be okay if something happens to me? So you think about the big picture blueprint that Rick and you will create for yourself and your situation. It's really to give you some direction, but more importantly, clarity into where you are on that road to retirement, income, investment, taxes, healthcare, long-term care, legacy planning, Social Security, Medicare, a lot of decisions we have to make. And Rick and the team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group are here to help guide you if you would like that help. 800-700-1980, 800-700-1980, totally complimentary to you. Rick, enjoyed it as always. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. We'll do it again next week. Great, thank you so much, Mark. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC.